Hi everyone and welcome back. So we are going to understand more about Kamunda and how Kamunda can help us with the microservice based architecture. The only thing uh, which I feel like when you are using multiple microservices, you don't have the overall state of the system because each and every microservice, either you talk about the event driven design, these are loosely coupled microservices and they know what is happening in them. We don't have the overall picture, overall state of the whole system. And we can use Kamunda so that our microservices can talk with peace and uh, there is like a harmony between different microservices if they are on the same layer of a Kamunda workflow engine. Okay. So what we are going to see is uh, what is a simple Kamunda architecture, how to get started with the Kamunda. You can actually spin up this container, right? And this is the Kamunda engine. I mean, this Docker image, Docker image will expose this uh, Kamunda engine on localhost port 8080. You can actually access that. Your Kamunda engine is running and uh, the UI will be exposed. It's like a web app will be exposed on port 8080. Okay. When you access it, this is the modeler. This is the client application which you will use to write the Kamunda workflow diagrams. This is the web portal, right? This is the Kamunda uh, workflow engine which you are accessing through the cockpit, through the task list which we will just see right away uh, in the same video and this is the actual architecture so what we are saying is there is a vpmns right vpmns let's say kamunda kamunda will have its own mysql or postgres database okay and through the rest interface it will talk to its worker task worker services worker microservices worker monolith service or whatever right because this vpmn will expose the rest interface and you will have a worker either written in node.js maybe in the java they will talk to these kamunda uh, tasks okay so they will be responsible for actually completing an individual task which are there in the kamunda workflow okay do this do then do then then do that and then finish the workflow okay and this can be orchestrated or choreographed in many different possible ways that is the the primary thing which we are going to talk and then we should be able to write these these Kamunda workflow diagrams. I mean, these BPMN uh, diagrams are kind of similar. Either you talk about flowable Kamunda, like call activity, uh, timer task, uh, external service, message event. Like these are the message events. This is the, these are the service task. These are the timer events. This is the gateway, and this is the call activity, which will be calling to the payment workflow, delivery workflow. I mean, external workflow is there. It's just a uh, main master workflow which is talking about inventory check payment and delivery behind this they will be talking to another workflow diagrams they are invoking the another workflow diagrams okay these can be many like uh, here we have a message events call activity and uh, wait activity all these things even like these can call one by one this message events will call another workflow uh, diagram it, it is calling service task external service task there is a gateway and based on that again further you are calling another two message events message event means it is going to invoke another workflow engine another workflow task sorry okay so what we are going to do is uh, i have a docker compose which is spinning up my mysql kamunda i mean kamunda needs mysql and we have a kamunda so this is my engine i mean this is uh, my docker image and we are exposing port 880 so i can just do docker compose up and uh, let's see if everything is fine wait for mysql kamunda 3306 connection details are fine password username password if that is correct root password and mysql user should be username is dave password is change me Let me just check. Okay, we can just do Docker Compose up and let's see. So what we will do is uh, we'll not jump to microservices and Kamunda. First, we'll try to understand the Kamunda basic building blocks. Okay, we'll just draw a simple diagrams. We'll try to understand the Kamunda workflow diagram, how they these are written, how we can install this modeler tool, and how we can deploy the Kamunda diagrams to the Kamunda engine through the modeler. Okay, so I will just uh, 
do a docker compose up because we need to fetch the images it will take time so let's connect in the next video meanwhile i will have all this setup ready for you okay uh, thanks everyone